Hey folks, so I've been having a few conversations recently with clients and also in the Facebook group about the type of support and the level of support that I'm bringing you. And I guess I've sort of been second guessing myself a little bit on whether I'm supporting you in the way that I really want to. It was always my aim back when I first started working with people with skin conditions. I wanted to support you, whoever you are, wherever you are. And I suppose what's got me thinking down this line as well is because I'm not in that explosive flare-up place anymore I've sort of mentally adapted away from that and um, you know whilst I had my skin conditions I was so working so hard to adapt myself and to to accept my my condition my situation and to work through it but I have adapted away from that I'm I'm in this place now where I wake up with with good skin every day and I'm, I'm not nearly dependent on the people around me like like I used to be back then and so I'm not always right there with you when you're going through that explosive flare stage and so it has been calling me into question as to you know whether I'm really supporting you in the way that you need that support that that one-to-one -one, that emotional level of support that that you really need like I'm a bit of a, a solutions guy, as some of you will know. You know, I'm I'm very down with the numbers, and um, a lot of people, just in, even in my personal life, people come to me and and might ask for help or support, and and I might be a little bit solutions based, just offering solutions a bit too quickly, um, you know, going straight in for the long term support that I know they need, um, rather than just you know, being a shoulder to cry on or just being that short-term support that people need. So I definitely have a, a long-term support tendency. And um, there are three types of support. This is what I've learned over the years of doing this. There are three types of support, really. There's the short-term support, the mid-term support, and the long-term support. So as far as short-term support goes, when somebody first signs up with us, they really need to be heard. And it's amazing the number of people that say to me, I just want to be heard. I haven't been heard properly. And this is, it, it blows my mind that other healthcare practitioners are not really, you know, listening in to, to people. And um, the other thing that people need is a clear strategy, a clear vision of how the process is going to go. So they might not immediately know exactly what the healing protocol is going to look like, but they need to have a vision. They need to get that really clear. And the other thing that you can do short-term support as well is just using some intelligent allopathy, that might be in the form of, of sort of short-term supplementation even, or something topically that you can use that gives you some, some short-term relief whilst you build in the mid-term and long-term levels of support. As far as midterm support goes, I really think this is where I bring a huge amount of value. Like I say, I'm a solutions based guy, so I really know what labs you need to run and what protocols are going to work for you. I have a lot of experience in that and you know, I'm really keen to, to give you your healing protocol, to guide you on it, um, teach you how to implement that for you. And um, I guess that's where a, a lot of support from, from us comes from if you do any sort of like lab-based health investigation. But if you are on your own and you're, you're going through this process, then it's really important that you make an agreement with yourself about what it is that you're gonna do and that you stick to it. And you make an agreement as if you're not even making that agreement with yourself. So sometimes having a third party in here, like a, a close respected friend that you can turn to for accountability, can be really helpful. A situation that I find myself in quite a lot is taking a bird's eye view on somebody's healing journey. So they've gotten themselves a little bit into the weeds, a bit confused, they've tried out too many different things and they've kind of lost clarity. And so I guess this is a form of midterm support that I find myself offering people is just helping them to see clearly, you know, what has worked and what hasn't. Let's look at these patterns together um, and it's amazing sometimes what people forget they did. And um, what I would encourage you to do if you're going through this without a coach is take daily notes for sure. So track yourself day to day, but don't analyze yourself day to day. Analyze yourself more on like a week to week basis so that you get more of a, a zoomed out version, a sort of, you know, a more, more of a bird's eye view on how you're going with your healing protocol.
Long-term support is all about putting your healing plan into practice in a sustainable way. And I've been speaking for years now on how detoxification, um, nutrition and sustainability are the chief cornerstones. They're like this triangle that you have to have in balance. Detoxification, nutrition and sustainability. And sustainability is usually the one that people fall down on. And so long-term support is all about understanding how this thing is going to be sustainable for you. And if you are doing this on your own, do not change too many things at the same time. Even if you are an all-in sort of a person, don't change everything at the same time and just jump straight in. Change things gradually. I've learned this. I'm an all-in sort of a person, but I've learned that this is what you need to do in order to be sustainable. Make one change at a time and don't aim too high. So if you're sort of a, an overachiever kind of a person, you will set your, your sights, you know, in the clouds sometimes and just they, they, they're not sustainable for you. So what I would recommend that you do is make realistic targets and then cut those targets in half and aim for that. Just keep it really sustainable. And if you do this, then you're not just going to build a healthy routine. You are going to change your default behavior. Like I say, it's always been my aim to bring you really valuable support, no matter who you are. And I need your help in, in, in doing that. The Facebook group, the, the YouTube channel, these will always be free. And if you have sustainable ideas in how I can help you better, please let me know. They need to be sustainable for me. Obviously, you know, I can't spend 24 seven with you, but if you can think of sustainable ideas, then I'm really keen to hear what those may be. If you are missing a support structure around you, if you feel like you need to be heard, then you've got two options. Either set up a one-to-one -one consultation with us. It's free. Set up, set up is called an exploratory call. There's a link for you to be able to do that below. Alternatively, introduce yourself in the Facebook group. Tell us your story. Tell us your challenges. And I promise you will be more supported than you already have been if you do that. People will come out of the woodwork and support you in a way that it will impress you and it will be like a warm virtual hug in these weird corona times. All right, that's the end of the video. You're free to go and I'll see you again very soon.